The West Indies and Australia played a test match that had an awesome finish. I am excited to show this to you guys. If you never watch a test match, you don't know cricket, I'm, I'm hoping you stick around because the scenarios here and the characters are awesome. If you did watch it, you know it's awesome. Relive it. Let's do it. It's brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you very much. This is Shamar Joseph. He's a young bowler from the West Indies. He actually lives in a small village in Guyana. It says like two hours from a boat to get to the closest city. And the day before this, he got hit in the toe and broke his toe. He didn't know if he was going to play. He didn't know if he'd be able to bowl. He does play. He does bowl. And he's, at this point, taken six wickets. That means he's gotten six batters out out of the nine that have gotten out. He's gotten six of them out. Five, you wave to the crowd and say, thank you. Thank you for watching me do something special. He's at six. He's fired up. He's putting his name in the big lights, beating Australia at home. Now, Steve Smith is up, and he's going through his routine, and he's been up all day. He has faced 134 balls. He scored 76 runs, but lately he's been batting, and his partners on the other end have been bowlers like this guy. So Smith hasn't been really attacking the ball because he can't get out. He's their last hope. But now... They're down to their last out, and his partner is Hazelwood. Who he's a bowler. He's a very good bowler. He does not bat well. And those are the three characters here that you really need to know about. So, West Indies need to get one out, and they win, and they beat Australia in Australia for the first time in 27 years. Australia need to score, I don't know, 25 runs or something like that. And Steve Smith has to score all the runs. Because the other guy, he can't even let him come up. And bam, pull shot with authority says, I need to turn it on and hit boundaries. There you go. It hits the boundary. That's automatically four runs. And he gets to stay on strike because it's an even number. So if they had run, he'd gone this way and back and this way and back. And he's on strike. And that's a big shot. It's a confident shot. This dude's bowling fast. He's getting everyone out. Steve Smith says, I'm going to step right into this. I'm going to pull it just like Rusty did in Bluey. And I think they based the pull shot off of Steve Smith, actually. And Shamar Joseph was like, hmm, didn't like that. That's a better ball. Little Yorker all the way down. Smith just survives, tries to pull that one. It's going to find the fielder. And they opt not to run. They could have easily ran across. But then you have Hazelwood facing Shamar Joseph. And that's dangerous. You need to do that later on. But not yet. He still wants to hit more boundaries. He's going to try here. And instead, they bounce a short one. They bump and run. They almost get the catch. They don't get the boundary. They do opt to run for one there. And that's just going off his hand. Right off that, like, thumb, pointer finger. Ah! Doesn't like that. Almost close to the fielder. So that's a strategy. You just can't really charge that one as a batter. You just got to play defense and hope you don't bump it up in the air. Joseph wanted it. Catch! Oh! Everyone on the West Indies thought they had just one right there. They bumped him. They got it up in the air. It was not caught. Steve Smith, seeing if his fingers work, and they do. They're all there. They all work, mm, but they hurt, and he didn't enjoy it. He's trying to shake it out of his memory. So now Hazelwood, the bowler, is up, and he needs to survive two balls. Two balls from Joseph. He just needs to survive. If he does, then Smith will come back up because they change after the over. So... Here we go. What's it going to be? Oh, <laughs> perfect delivery. All, all over the stumps, kind of smiling like, damn, thought I had him. I mean, that had three open stumps for a long time before Hazelwood just drops the bat and says, uh, no, no, that twist, but strong enough, doesn't hit the stumps. Now Smith's back up, and it's a, it's, it's a different bowler whose last name is also Joseph, and they put everyone back on the boundary. They're like, let's make these guys run. If they're going to run, let's get Hazelwood back up, make them run for a single. Let's not let him hit a four. Steve Smith scans the outfield. says, okay, wait, you're all on the boundary? All right, okay, good defense, but I'm going to match it with better offense because I'm, I have to play aggressive here. I have to win this for the country. Boom, ramp shot. Those are so cool. Premeditated ramp shot over everyone for six runs, jumps across and just guides the ball. I keep going that way, but a little more, a little turbo booster, six runs automatically. And at this point, now Australia just needs 14 runs to win. And Smith is having fun out there. I mean, a couple more of these, 
it's like, whoa, this could be anyone's game. Could be fun finish. It is a fun finish. It was a fun finish. So now Smith's up again. He just got a six on the first ball. He scans everywhere. What's going to happen now? He's looking for boundaries. He doesn't want to have to run, but he will if he needs to. Joseph, the other Joseph, not the broken foot Joseph. Uh, two two uh, whole feet for this Joseph. That's a little, I think that was a little outswinger. Uh, and doesn't get much. And Steve Smith's talking to himself like it went this way, went this way. This one, ooh, another bouncer. And uh, doesn't get that. He's mad. He's mad. He's going, it's bouncing higher than I thought. Ah, bouncing? Yep, come on. Hit it up. Helicopter shot. Bam. Uh, Yeah, so uh, Smith does this slide, just reenacts what the ball did. Now he goes full length, and they're going to run for one again. So that's the fourth ball of the over. They ran for one, which gives Hazelwood the last two. Hazelwood, you just survived the last two balls, and then Smith will come up again. So can he do it? Here we go. Yep, easy. Easy. Next one. And they try to like bump him, but he just ducks it. That wasn't, wasn't, I didn't think that was a good strategy. I was like, I just attack the wickets against him. So now Smith's up against Joseph again. And this time Joseph's like, I'm not giving you shit, man. I'm gonna bounce it up. Although Smith says, we'll play the cut shot and we'll run for two. If that's what it's going to be about. Now as a baseball fan and my brain, you know, is baseball a lot. I see that shot from Smith right here. And I see like an accident. Like, we would call it an excuse me foul ball. Like, oh, it's going to be a strike. I'm just going to get in the way. But this in cricket is a very planned shot. And I, I'd i love to just try it at some point. You have to let that ball travel so much to play it that way where you think there's an opening. Now, realize he wasn't going to get it to the boundary. So they run for two so Smith can stay back up. Easy peasy. Now they only need 12 more runs to win. Oh, 10. Sorry, it just changed on me. 10 runs to win. Smith plays that one. And they just they get a hobble over for one. Just, uh, yeah, just easily walk for one. The West Indies will take it. They're like, okay, great. Now we have Shamar Joseph has two balls against Hazelwood. He survived last time. No way Joseph is going to not attack him like crazy this time. And the first ball of the over right at the stump freezes Hazelwood and the West Indies beat Australia for the first time, I think in 27 years in Australia. And this young dude from Guyana is a star. Like a star was born. I mean, you didn't even need the broken toe drama and it would have been an amazing performance. You don't even need him to be a rookie who's never played before. It could be the best player ever. And if they put up the numbers this kid put up, it would still be a celebrated moment. And look at that ball. They say you want to go, you know, off, off of top stump or top of off stump. Oh, I'm all, I'm all, I'm all excited and twisted up. But what? A, it's perfect. That's what I'm trying to say. In baseball, you would say he dotted the corner, and that's what he did to the wicket there. You would say high and outside dot, and that's exactly what he did there in cricket. Uh, and these are the two balls. I found it interesting. The first one that Hazelwood faced that he blocked at the last second, he was much slower to the ball. Like, look how much faster. He gets his bat down on the one that he gets uh, got on. I mean, his bat is square. It's there. It's just, it's just not blocking the third stump. And Joseph bowled the perfect ball to get him. Awesome ending. And a little technology shout out. You see that robot, that, that robot car uh, on, the, on the ground there? That's a camera. Two guys operate it. One drives it, and the other operates the camera. And this shot is coming from that remote control car, and it's a great shot. They're on the field with the players, getting up close and per, per up. Hey, this one was brought to you by DraftKings. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thanks very much. If you enjoy, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, we got more coming for you. That was a lot of fun.